Here's how to set up your Printify store and settings. Hey everyone and welcome. Uh, in this video I will show you exactly how to do that. I will go um, by the store settings and everything that you will need to know. Uh, and pretty much just how to set things up if you're just getting started with Printify. So I'll go, I'll go through all of the settings. So the first thing you, you will obviously need to do is connect your store. Uh, so if you can just go ahead and click on here and click on manage my stores. Here you can obviously, uh, if you don't have one already, you can just go ahead and click here and add a new store. Or you will have an option that says create a new store and you do so. And then afterwards, once you have this, uh, or multiple stores over here. This is going to be basically the list of all of these stores that you have uh, And to connect them is very simple. You just click on connect uh, and here you obviously select the e-commerce Platform that you want to connect it to so whether it's uh, Etsy or Shopify or whatever It may be you just click on it and then it will give you the option to sign in to your Shopify Etsy or any other platform Okay, so this is basically how to um, connect your store. So this is the first thing that you will need to do. It's going to be very simple. Uh, second thing, which is not very, uh, you don't have much to do here, but if you want to go to your personal settings, you can just click on the account option here on the bottom left, and you can just go uh, on settings, and here you can just set things up uh, to preference-wise, basically. So, for example, if you want to just use the metric system uh, instead of, you know, the pounds and stuff, you can do it right here and other optional um, account settings. So those are not going to affect your store much. This, these are just optional settings for your account. And here, obviously, your email and stuff uh, and everything in here. Okay, so let's, let's actually get into the important parts. Uh, the first thing uh, it is going to be, you go to your stores that you have. So manage my stores. And here, again, I, sh I told you, you should find multiple stores here if you have multiple. Or you can just find your only store. Uh, regardless, you go to the store that you want to set up. So if you have multiple, you just go and select the gear icon for a specific store. And you can just go ahead and click on it. And then from here... Uh, you will have a few options to start and work on. So the first one is going to be a store name. And the store name is very straightforward. You just name your store uh, to be matching to your Shopify, Etsy store, whatever it may be. Make sure it's matching. It's just much better to have it matching instead of just having your customers in a loophole of different store names. Okay, so make sure the store names are matching. And you just go ahead and name it my store. Obviously not my store, just the name of the store that you have. Okay, so this is just an example. So we'll just name it that for now. And now let's move on to the next one, which is going to be ship from address. Make sure, make sure by the way, to actually click uh, on save after each change. Otherwise, it's not going to change. Like in, you can see now it's not uh, changing. So make sure that you click on save. So ship from address is going to be basically uh, for returns. So if you're running this business for Printify, um, if somebody wants to return it and you don't have a, um, a specific place or a warehouse that you own and you want to have a custom address basically uh, within the US, uh, uh, Britain or uh, Germany, if you don't have a, a custom address, you can just keep it on default. And if you do and you want to handle the returns yourself with a specific address, you can just go ahead on uh, either one of those respectively and go to custom address and you should obviously fill the address. But usually you wouldn't really have a you know custom address if you're running this kind of business. Most of the time you just have, you know, the, you will just use the Printify default so I just suggest that you keep it to Printify default unless you have uh, a specific place that you want to have uh, the returns handle in, handled in, okay? So that's 
pretty much it for the ship from address and it does if you see, click on see label example it will show you pretty much the address name and everything and then we'll show you also the name of the store and the actual address and the uh thing here the label okay so next up we go to order settings and basically this is going to be the one that uh we will spend more time in and the first option here is going to be order routing uh let's talk about order routing first let's explain what it is basically and then you will have the option to whether enable it or disable it it's going to be completely up to you uh basically order routing is if uh you have products right and let's say it's a t-shirt with multiple colors multiple sizes uh, and let's say some customer of yours went in to buy this t-shirt but in white and let's say extra large okay and let's say that this white t-shirt that is extra large is out of stock in this case if you do enable order routing here what it's going to do when it's out of stock for this extra large uh, white t-shirt basically it's going to automatically do everything for you and it's going to find somebody else that sells pretty much the same exact product or a similar product which is going to be also be up to you uh, and then basically it's just going to place the order for a different um, a printing company basically but for the same product i hope you're following me so basically it's going to automatically if it's out of stock uh automatically reroute it to another pr printing company that prints the same exact t-shirt white extra large uh and basically just have it uh place the order from there instead of the one that you have already chosen uh now that's one example if the product is out of stock the other example is going to be if um if there's for example if you if your store is based on the u.s in the u.s and somebody from, from europe ordered the same uh clothing if there's a place within the same country they order from they will actually use that one instead because it's going to be a lot cheaper for shipping and that kind of stuff is going to be much easier so instead of using the one from the u.s to ship it to europe to make it you know long process they will automatically uh, if you enable order routing to place it from the country the customer placed it from basically so i hope that kind of makes sense so uh, again this is going to be completely up to you if you want to enable it or not i recommend that you do uh, and then we if you if you do you obviously have a, um, uh, more options to choose from so here is going to be the max additional cost per item so you're, you're saying here basically this is what i will be willing to pay if this ends up happening the order routing ends up happening i will be able to pay max two dollars for it and I, I suggest that you keep it to two dollars you don't change it to to be extra unless it's a very expensive item then maybe uh this should be okay but usually just two dollars and if not then um the item is just going to be on hold uh, and if I, I didn't mention if you don't enable order routing and a item is out of stock the the order is going to be on hold and you will be able to do whatever you want with it basically so here you just keep it on two if you want if you want to increase it, it's up to you but minimum two and then maximum uh, 100 okay and now we have this option as well so if you enabled order routing this is another option that you will need to choose so allow rout routing for exact product matches only which i highly suggest or similar products uh, matches so if um, if you want to have an exact product and it's it, there's no room for different materials different uh, products that kind of stuff just keep it on this or if you're okay with similar products then have it like that but i suggest that it should match exactly what your description says to the dot so i always highly recommend that you keep it on exact product matches 
especially if you have size charts uh, or something like that uh, material uh, you may want to keep it on this because you don't want to mislead your uh, customers basically so next up is going to be order approval and this is just simply uh, when somebody places an order a customer places an order um, whether you want to be manual that you want to you know submit to the the order to um, production or automatically oh, within one hour 24 hours or a set time now this is going to be dependent on you and your business if you're doing more personalized things that you need to check each time before you actually send to production then manual is your go-to choice because obviously you want to do a little bit of work before you send the item to production or um, if not if it's just you know they pay for it and they get it without any personalized items then automatically within 24 hours make sure you just choose the 24 hours usually because maybe there's something that you will need to check out before it actually goes to production so this is going to be completely up to you again if you have personalized items make sure it's manual it's going to be better for you or if you have a lot of stuff maybe 24 hours so next up tracking notifications is basically going to be for manual and sample products or orders you will basically be able to track them see how see how they went see the uh, the tracking process of them and uh, if you want to have them, it's going to be completely up to you. You, you can just click on this uh, and turn it off completely. But um, maybe you want to keep it at this if you want to have them. So you don't really get bugged a lot every time they are available. Instead, just have a specific time where they all come in at once. And you can just go through them and see how these orders went. So delayed orders and the other one and we are done okay so delayed orders are basically printify themselves automatically will uh, see if an order sh is going to be potentially either uh, held or delayed this could be because of a like far away country something like that uh, maybe restrictions when it comes to certain shipping stuff policy so if they think this order is going to be delayed or not even like delivered at all they will either manually send to production so basically they will give you an email notification that this order um, may be delayed for this amount of time uh, and they will let you decide what you want to do with it maybe you want to contact the customer and let them know that their order is going to be delayed uh, so this is going to be if you have it on manual or if you want you can just keep it on automatically send uh, regardless whether it's going to be delayed or not obviously obviously if it's um, if it if it cannot be delivered then it's just going to remain on hold but if it's going to be delayed it's just going to send it to production production so maybe if you want to contact your customers and let them know, just keep it on manual. They will send you an email notification telling you this order should be uh, delayed. So what do you want to do with it, basically? So uh, maybe keep it at this if you don't want to and it's you're fine with things being delayed. Like if you have um, let your customers know that up front, then maybe keep it on automatic. And then lastly, um, you just have this daily order updates it just daily sends you an email telling you how many orders are in production how many orders have been placed that kind of stuff it's just daily update nothing uh crazy here so again after you're done with these settings you just go ahead and click on save make sure you click on save otherwise you will need to do it all over again and then you've got to the branding and printify connect which is going to be for uh, Printify Premium here. And if you want to have branding when it comes to delivery, you want to have add these cards. Uh, you will need to pay for it if you want. And you can obviously just design it and um, create one for yourself. But those are the settings that we needed to go through. And this is basically your setup process. And you should be ready to go. Just connect your store and uh, the rest is going to be, you know, add in products and that kind of stuff. 
So I hope you liked this video and yeah, thanks for watching.